This morning, former executives at what was a high-powered New York law firm face dozens of charges. They're accused of massive financial fraud being compared to Enron. The indictment comes after the largest law firm bankruptcy in history. Among the big-name clients, the Walt Disney Company and Dallas Mavericks owner Mark Cuban. The Manhattan District Attorney says the men conspired for years to hide the dire condition of their firm, Dewey LeBeau. The defendants simply lied. Uh, they lied and masked the firm's financial shortfallings. The scheme deceived lenders, investors, and others into believing the firm was in far better financial condition than it actually was. CBS News contributor Melody Hobson is with us. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so what do you make of this and how significant is this and what will it change? Huge. It's a big deal. I mean, you have to, the backdrop, biggest bankruptcy in law firm history. Mm. At its peak, this firm had 3,000 people, 1,300 lawyers in New York. You're talking about a firm that had half a billion dollars in debt, so huge. Mm -hmm. The fraud right at the top, seven people have already said you know, they were involved. The four people running the firm were perpetrating this fraud. And this was Enron WorldCom kind of stuff, mm -hmm. literally cooking the books. Mm -hmm. So it is a really big deal. A lot of accounting chicanery, as they said, of course. And then what about the SEC also filing a civil suit? Yes. What do they want? So the SEC is involved because in 2010, this firm had a debt offering, a private a debt offering and 13 insurance companies bought their bonds, which means they had a security. That means they were regulated by the SEC. Now, the new SEC chair, Mary Jo White, has said when she finds that there is securities fraud, she is going to be aggressive on crime. Mm -hmm. And in this situation, the paper trail, when you read this indictment, 60 pages, 106 counts of fraud. The, the emails that they were writing to each other, shocking. Mm -hmm. Will we see some kind of ripple effect here? I think the ripple effect is going to be, there'll probably be a bunch of lawyers at law firms around the country asking some more questions mm -hmm. of their managing partners. This is again a story about email. Mm -hmm. Writing this down, you do not expect from it from lawyers. lawyers. I know they tell you <laughs> this, which is the I'm, part that's yeah. crazy. And then I'm asking questions about Ernst & Young, who is auditing them. Mm -hmm. You know, what will be the repercussions for them? They had fired a partner in the middle of these audits, but the new person came in and didn't, didn't catch the fraud. This was a prestigious law firm. Big deal, prestigious global foot footprint. Mm -hmm. It had been two firms that had come together in 2008. They came together just during a very, very tough time. Thank you. Good Thank to you. see you. Thanks.